Well, due to the abysmal drop in views on YouTube, actually, I'm showing my statistics from um, Lifetime. So, I think I got on YouTube in 2010, but I never really did any videos. And I started doing some videos, I think, late 2012. That's when I actually started doing some of them. And, you know, it grew, grew, grew. And uh, I was getting about 20,000 views a day, between 18 and 25,000, right? Roughly over over twenty thousand views a day, not not stupendous, but not you know maybe like I guess you call a medium large channel. I got 30, 38 and a half million views total, which is not something really big or nothing. But um, they went from about twenty one thousand views a day down to like under five thousand, and this mainly occurred since April of twenty nineteen. So, you know, YouTube, which is Susan, acquiescing to the powers or whatever it is, uh, using only authoritative quote-unquote sources, she's killing off all the smaller channels, even if the smaller channels are monetized. or what. So even if I get monetized again, um, the money's going to be abysmal. So um, now I can tell you, well, what I'm telling you right now is I've been posting on Minds, M-I-N-D-S, just started posting on here. It takes a while to upload. I went to the car show, and I'm posting the videos for the car show up on Minds. So if you go to my channel up there, which is Synergy 7, S-Y-Y, Energy 7, right? Okay? So, anyway, so, you know, I think, you know, I, you know, I can tell you I know what the problem deal is, probably because I posted Confederate stuff, but I got a wide variety of stuff on my channel. You know, I'm not laying off this Confederate stuff. I don't give a crap what they say. I know the ADL is probably pissed off at me, but the ADL's got their head up their asses because they don't understand that the Confederacy was anti-fascism. It's not pro-fascism. I also, I'm, I'm thinking right now, now the ADL is pro-fascism. They're acting just like fascists. And um, you know, probably because I posted some gun videos. This is my flintlock or something like that with my kitty cat from the American Revolution of 1776, a flintlock rifle. AdSense don't even want you posting that. So they're gone. They're full bore freaking control freaks. They're communists. That's what's going on. And actually from this internet censorship, I'll guarantee you it's going to go way beyond that. It's going to be like you're going to go to the gulag if you're not thinking right. It's going to be just like the Soviet Union in the old days, except with the technology to really enforce it. That's where they're going with it. So I posted a lot of, uh, you know, pro-Confederate stuff. They don't like that. And the reason they don't like it for reality is because it's anti-fascist, anti-control freaks, anti-central authority. You know, it's freedom to the individual. I know they want to make it look like it was all about slavery. It wasn't. The North couldn't give a crap. The money people, just like YouTube, doesn't give a crap about minimum wage laws when they farm out, you know, the uh, monetization reviewers to Thailand and the Philippines and they pay them like three bucks a day or something, right? To review hundreds of videos. So <laughs> that's what they, so Susan can keep the money, you know? Uh, but like on my channel, actually, I have a great variety of things so I'm posting on mines I don't really like it though because it's very 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 slow to upload something and I'm gonna um, I'm gonna continue posting on bit shoot and uh, you know we'll see where this goes now supposedly there's a way to make money on mines I don't know how the hell that is with some kind of wampum fake ass uh, what do you call that stuff cryptocurrencies I don't want to get on coinpayments.net I might but I don't like it I, as long as you the subscriber don't pay anything I don't you know I'm fine with getting paid you know I'm not getting all bent out of shape about the views I'm getting bent out of shape that YouTube isn't paying me the money now yes I do have a few other sources of income but I want this income too and I want the income going back to where it was and going higher not you know, this 5,000 views means I want to be getting uh, one less than one quarter of the money I was getting before. That's bull crap. So, and, you know, I was making, you know, this is where people, my subscribers, are going to get pissed off. But it's not like, 
it's it's a significant amount of money for you know the average person, and it's it's a good amount of money. And it would be a good amount of money if I was up in the mountains of Georgia or Tennessee. And this is where I was kind of hesitant about going up there because I wasn't sure about how well because I got other sources of income, but one of my sources of income is going to the CPA firm. And if I'm in up in mountains of Georgia and Tennessee, I won't be doing that anymore. You know, um, <laughs> for sure. So the YouTube money was between eighteen and twenty-one thousand a year. So that was, you know, that was, you know, some people say oh, that's, that's so much. You make all that money doing that. Well, if you look at my content, it's not the videos that are just coming out. It's the seven thousand videos that are out there, and a lot of them are more complex than maybe when I'm putting out a cat video because you're thinking, oh, what the hell is making all that money putting out cat videos? There's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of, actually, I put a lot of videos out for the long term and I don't, I really steer away from the giddy, you know, drama garbage that is happening daily uh, because that's old news. I mean, there's, there's other channels that are, you know, constantly barrage of like, oh, this is happening, that's happening. And like, I look at some of that, but I'm like, you know, I get you, you very quickly get burned out about that stuff. Um, I, I put the cat stuff in there because I like, the, I like, well, I understand that the animals, actually all the animals, have a consciousness that humans don't have. You know, people call it the animal instinct or whatever. It's, I don't know if it's really instinct. They're in tune with things and frequencies and energies that we don't understand. And one thing I particularly liked about the cats is that they have an inner frequency they make that heals themselves you know I'm into that a lot with the healing of frequencies so you know plus they're they're probably about 90 percent they're they're very close to humans in a lot of ways emotionally but uh you know I know I probably got in trouble about this confederate stuff with the ADL but ADL you better freaking get your heads out I'm really getting pissed off at this shit you know ADL is actually uh destroying the people that supported them um, the, 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 the descendants of the Confederates were the ones that saved the, you know, the rest of the Jewish people from getting exterminated by the Nazis. It was the descendants of the Confederates that fought against the Nazis. And here we're getting slammed again by, for what? For what? Because you don't, you decide, we're, we're, you know, you're making up lies that we're the same as Nazis. We're the exact opposite. You know, so, I mean, that's another thing they slam me on. I'm like, this is getting ridiculous. But, um, so I'm actually moving uh, some, I'm not taking content off of YouTube, but, you know, with views, the way they're being destroyed on my channel, I'd have to say that, uh, you know, if you're looking back at that, that's where it was going on there, the way the views are going, I mean, where the hell are they going to go down to? You know, I, I can understand if I didn't have that many videos up there to be getting lower views but with 7,000 videos up here that I want to be getting um, you know 4,800 views a day are you kidding me that's ridiculous I was getting you know back before I had way when I had less videos up you're talking back in 2016 I was getting 23 24,000 whatever some days I would get like you know, sometimes it would spike up to like 46 50,000 in a day I mean, there's other, you know, you could put out something that's really this viral video and it's drama. That's why some people do this stuff. I avoid that shit. I'm, I'm going to tell you, honestly, the same people that aggravated the crap out of me, I'm not, I'm not a fan of a lot of, you know, I think they ought to be, you know, I mean, Alex Jones is on BitChute. I subscribed to Alex, Alex Jones on BitChute. I hardly ever watch his videos. The main reason I subscribed to him was because he was banned off all the other stuff. And I watched a few of them, and I'm already burned out on them. I mean, there's the X-22 report. I get, You know, some people, I know there's people on my channel that love that guy, but I'm, I'm like, I had enough of this crap. I mean, I subscribe to some stuff because I'm curious what they got to say, but then I don't freaking listen to it. I subscribe to Lisa, ha Lisa Haven. I'm like, you know... What, uh, what's the next drama thing we're going to have next today? I don't, you know, they got the same, you know, I'm not saying from the liberal standpoint, but I'm like, 
I already know what's going on. I mean, it's the same. It's as old as stone. Human humans have been like this. You got power hungry jackasses. Right now, I see the ADL as the part power hungry jackasses. I mean, you're kicking me in the balls. You know what? I'm asking for this money, you back pay from Susan. I'm going to be I'm going to be uh, physically mailing a letter to uh, YouTube, and I'm going to put this up with tags, FairTube, and all this other wonderful stuff. That um, you know, I want my money, right? This is what you shortchanged me, and this is where you didn't pay me. Pay me the money. Thank you. And you know, I I think I know what the end result is going to be. No, but actually, I'm looking at it from this standpoint. Who really demonetized me? You know, if they got the ADL and the Southern Poverty Law Center, which is basically you know, they're not even the main ones. It is the ADL. If they if they demonetize me, they owe me the money. They owe me the money. And I'm gonna tell you, I'm not, I'm not some hokey dokey Christian. I can tell you that right now. I mean, you probably noticed this already on my channel. I have not, um, I, you know, I believe in you know, there's something out there, and I know there's a God, the universe. I'm not an atheist. I'm not saying that. But what I'm also saying is that. I don't have these beliefs that somebody's going to go swoop down and fix everything. That's BS. And I don't, you know, I lean Jewish, but I can tell you right now, there is no Messiah. All these religions are a crock of crap for the most part. There is maybe, there is a universal force. There's a, you know, they use that cute word consciousness and stuff. And there's, there's axioms out there like justice, honor, integrity dedication to duty, you know, um, everything you do somehow is recorded, every action you do is somehow recorded, there probably is life at, more, let me say, there's probably judgment after death, I think there is um, an existence after physical life, that we always exist, um, but as far as, you know, the former religions, they're all a bunch of bullshit, I'm going to tell you that right now, man. I mean, I, I'm not, I'm pretty irreverent with all these stupid religions. So I can give a crap about them, including the Wailing Wall and all this other shit. I'm not pro-Muslim. As far as I'm concerned, we could whack the whole dead, dead dome of the rock and give the Jews back the temple and rebuild it. I wouldn't give a shit. I'm fine with that. You know? But, you know, if you're going to keep kicking me in the balls, I'm not going to give a shit about you too, ADL. I mean, I don't even consider you guys Jewish. I just consider you a bunch of liberal whack jobs. But, uh, you know, I'm going to go request my money back. And I'm also telling you right now that I'm on Minds.com. And, you know, if they don't pay the money back, I'm going to, I'll probably request it from the ADL. You know, something like that. I'll find a way to get it from them. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not, I you know... I didn't notice for many years, I knew about my great-grandfather being the illegitimate son of Duke Albert Edward, who later became Edward VII. I didn't know that part. I didn't even realize he was the Duke of England. I knew that. I didn't realize he became the king. And now, now I understand why my great-grandfather was trying to become a Duke. And I was like, how the hell was he going to become a Duke? First of all, he was a Roman Catholic, and he was half Italian, and he was illegitimate. I was like, Shh. but he was... You know, he tried for it, but I realized, you know, he had a little, he had a lot more smarts because uh, this is where I believe that thing from. Uh, even though it's not, I don't know where he got his facts from, but he said in 2015, his Lord Greg Hallett said that the actual father of Duke Albert Edward, which would have been my great great grandfather, his father's actually his actual father was Lionel Nathan Rothschild, which would make him my third great grandfather, and I'm beginning to suspect that's true because of how I think but you know I don't get I mean just to say I'm pro-Jewish doesn't mean I get along with every freaking Jew that's out there you know what I'm saying generally lean that way doesn't mean everybody's Jewish is my friend I could tell you if the ADL thinks the way they're thinking uh, they ain't my friends no guy like Sam Zell would be my friend he'd be my friend but um I'll get these guys. I'm a devious freaking son of a bitch, and I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to say shit what I'm going to do. 
but um, <laughs> I basically think I think everybody's a freaking damn goyim. I'm not that stupid. Thing is, I like staying down to earth and hands on because people who are very smart they get in a niche. I noticed this even in accounting. I'm freaking doing all this stuff. I'm designing all these special reports and databases, and I got every. You know, you don't have time for common sense things. It's almost like you're in a niche. I don't want to be too much in a niche because I can tell you right now, I think this entire financial system is coming down and we're going back to a much earlier time. There's going to be total chaos and all this other shit. But, you know, for now, I want the greenbacks because they buy stuff. And I'm going to be asking Susan, you know, for my money. And um, I'm posting on Mines right now. I would say I was advised by somebody that Mines copyrights everything. And there's a reason for it. I'll give you it right now. YouTube could be listening to this or whatever. Mines copyrights everything. Now, YouTube copyrights everything I put up there, too, I think. That's what they tell me, right? Mines copyrights everything. So I'm going to post the Mines first. Then I'm going to post the YouTube after that. And I'm going to see if that somehow forces them to pay or some shit. I'm going to see if that works that way. Now, Mines has it where you can set up a token. I'm not setting up tokens for people to pay me money to fucking watch my videos. I want Coca-Cola to pay me the videos. I want all you liberal... I want Joe Biden to pay me the video for the videos, okay? I mean, I want them guys to pay me for the videos. I don't want you people to pay me a freaking quarter. And if I put something out that is worthwhile, what I'm a fearful of is this. I mean, I could put something out, how to cure this, how to cure that, how to do this. Problem is, I can't do that legally because it's practicing medicine without a license. I could put something out, a little educational, speculatively, speculative medicine theories and you know things might work. But I can't put out something really specific, specific. Now, if I put out something specific, specific, yeah, you know, I could think I could have somebody pay for that because I think, yeah, that's worth it. But I can't do that. I can't do that. So, and I'm not putting out any kind of drama crap so people pay me money like these other jerks do. And I'm like, what a bunch of bullshit. Or selling T-shirts and flashlights. Like, who the hell is that other guy? I thought he was okay, but now I don't think he's okay. Uh, high impact videos. Not a freaking yo-yo. Actually, all these people on this, uh, that's why I kind of steer away from a lot of this drama shit. I put a little bit out once in a while, but I have been very consistent on being pro-Confederate. Because this is, you know, despite, well, I don't think all black people realize, you know, I don't know what the hell black people think, but I know they've been brainwashed into thinking this was some kind of anti-black thing. It's not. It's uh, about individual power to the individual and actually black people had it better under in South Carolina in 1860 what they called slavery was in South I don't know about Florida Florida was a mess but actually South Carolina where slavery was it was actually um, established a long time it was tempered a lot by Christianity and people were treated very well um, there was a lot of leeway even where people were breaking laws and giving, I mean, it was like, in other words, you know, a black slave wasn't supposed to make money or do this or whatever. There was so many laws that were, you know, it was like uh, people were freaking, were not bad to the black people in the South. That's what I'm pointing out. They weren't. The people in the North with the money are the really bad ones. Whoa. And it goes to show you, look at YouTube. Look what YouTube does when they farm out, you know, sweatshops to Thailand and Philippines to judge the videos, right? I mean, that's that's the reality of the situation. So I know some, I mean, some black people probably don't like this freaking stuff with the vid, you know, Confederate stuff. But it don't. It's it's not about race. None of that shit ever was. But that's that's how the big money makes it sound. They make it sound that way because they want it that way because that's the way to protect themselves from uh, being knocked down by independent pe independent thinking people. But, uh, yeah, so 
You know, this is when I filmed up in Andersonville, Georgia. I'm going to be going up to uh, some other events in Brooksville, Florida and stuff and filming it. I'll get them up on YouTube. I'll get them up on Minds, and I'll get them up on BitChute. Um, I'm not sure because there's absolutely no set of behavior, no set of parameters or any kind of set of behaviors that you know what to do to even be in a good graces on YouTube. There's absolutely no clue, clue. I mean, once somebody decides you're no good, you're screwed. That's the way it is. Um, I'm guessing probably the pro-Confederate stuff, but if the ADL has gotten after me for being pro-Confederate, I mean, they're, they got their heads up their asses. I mean, it's that's that whole thing with the slavery and stuff, that was a bunch of freaking scam bullshit by the northern money powers to, to, to justify why they wanted the South back in, you know, their clutches so they could extract as much money from them as possible via tariffs and everything else. So, and actually, uh, what I'm really pissed off is, you know, you know when I start, I'm going to just say this. I just put a couple of videos out about the HHO. I had this stuff in the engine of my 4x4 car, right? The little Jeep thing, or Suzuki. And, um... I wish I did this for Miss Goldigger, the cat, and Miss Tiffany Goldigger, because I was doing it a little bit for her. I'd have to—I didn't have the engine running, but I used the cleaned out the bubbler, so the, the HHO was all purified, and I had it by her chin, and uh, so she could breathe the gas. She was wagging her tail because it's very safe. It's very—it's good for animals and everything. And I didn't do that every day. I was doing it once in a while. I was usually made of Doc Willard water and other herbs and stuff. I started thinking, I bet you I should have done that. I could second guess to myself to death about this stuff, but I'm so pissed off that, you know, when she first had a problem was when YouTube demonetized me. And if I would have picked up on what was going, that was, I didn't realize it was a serious problem. I thought she had a skin irritation. That's what it looked like. I mean, that's a little red spot on both sides of her back that she's scratching herself. She had that before, you know. I never thought she was an older cat. We found out she had advanced cancer. But if I, I think I knocked out most of that cancer. I tell you the truth, I might have knocked all of it out. But by the time I did that, she had a period of about a good week where she was basically hardly eating nothing and hardly drinking any water. She damaged her liver and kidneys in that time. And even though I got her eating again, she was still dehydrated. She, her, her metabolism was all screwed up and the food wasn't being processed right and was going into like brown fat which is a condition called like catrechia which people get with cancer too but it's a metabolist it's a metabolistic metabolism malfunction but um now well, let's see you know if i had this hho but i'm keeping this in mind for my other kitty cats because mr rocky or something he has or has a problem i think i'm going to try the hho first it's pretty much cures everything but, um, <clears throat> you know, I think we got some earth changes coming up here anyway, so we might see some major changes in our geography. You know, I've talked also about, you know, and I know this in California. I mean, the, the tech elite know this. <clears throat> they can ignore this all they want. You, and I know this is kind of, you know, I know the Republican and Democrat thing with the red and blue colors. Some jerk up there in New York mislabeled this. Usually conservatives are blue. And I don't know why the hell they freaking put red for conservative or fake conservative. You want to cuck conservatives. But if you look at California, if everything west of, um, I what is it, I-5 cracked off, fell in the ocean, hey, that would fix the whole thing. Tech Valley, that's that one spot that goes in here. When they get the big earthquake... California's going to get straightened out. When you get the big earthquake and you have the salt, the, uh, the changes and, you know, even New Jersey, you look at Sussex County here in the Northwest and also Warren County, Red Counties, you wouldn't believe it. New Jersey even has some conservative counties, but you look in a corridor from New York to Philadelphia where it's real populated and also Camden and stuff, <laughs> it's all freaking communist. That's because, you know, 
Well, you know what's going to happen with this stuff, even when you're talking in politics here? The people that are voting Democrat is because it's obvious. It's obvious why many of them are. Not all of them. Many of them are voting Democrat because Democrats give them more stuff. They're voting so they can get more stuff. More benefits, more of something. And obviously, that's never going to continue forever. And when it stops, those are going to be the first people that are going to be considered useless eaters by the freaking elite or useless idiots, including the tech elite, which I can give a crap about, to tell you the truth. But uh, just want to point out that I'm uh, putting, you know, this this what's going on with my channel. You know, when you saw the abysmal drop, you know, and actually I got very steady views because I don't have it where I'm like, uh, you know, you know, some of these other channels I have this. They, they don't put out that many videos. They put this big viral video out and nothing happens, and they're all one subject, right? So they can change. They can go from, you know, one side to the other and whatever the hell it is. They can go, they can actually just, you know, go up and down a lot. My stuff, I've got a large amount of videos out there, a wide variety of content, and it's pretty steady. It, it actually, I even mean, the payments were very steady. There was like a lull time in the summer, then they pick up around, I'd say, mid-September, and then they... Yeah, you know, things like that. I mean, that's how it works. I mean, it goes, and then November, December, you know, and also even Valentine's Day. Sometimes in April it pays a little more, but very steady because I got a wide variety of content. Other channels, but see, and that makes it easy for me to prove, you know, historical, um, you know, work performance. You know, right now, what they're doing to me, and this is what they're doing to everybody, though. I'm not, like, I'm not being singled out, per se. It's pretty much everybody. Not maybe not every everybody, but a lot, I'd say most of the channels that are not on the anointed list or mainstream or whatever. Um, when you're looking at my stats again, here they are, here they are, here they are. Um... This dropped from about, say, 20,000 to 5,000 or under 5,000, from over 20,000 to under 5,000. That's about what's going on with everybody. And you notice I was starting to have, getting a little, even even when Susan came aboard about a year later, it was starting to get chopped down a little there. But it was mainly from about April of 2019 on. And this is about when a lot of people, same thing. Subscribers were between a thousand and fifteen hundred a month, which is I don't know, whatever. But now they're like ninety or something like that, ninety subscribers a month. So that's an, that's because I'm not one of the authoritative sources. And this is this is going on across the board with everybody. And this is this is considering just the people that survived. So I'm putting stuff out of minds minds.com. Um, and I'm, you know, I'm going to keep posting about FearTube and YouTube's YouTubers Union and stuff. Um, and you know, this was one of the reasons because if I'm not near the CPA firm, um, this this would be more of a significant amount of money. Then that was one of the reasons I didn't go up to North Georgia or Tennessee or whatever like that because I was thinking this this would be okay getting about that money, you know, 18 to 21,000 a year or whatever it is. I take that. Especially up there? Up there there's no freaking jobs up there, man. I'm not going to go walk in some CPA firm up there. I mean, freaking CPA firm, they probably I'd probably have to drive 200 miles and freaking drive for freaking 3 hours one way just to go to some CPA firm. It probably any, won't be anywhere near, near as good as where I'm working right now. So, so, but you know, I got other money besides that coming in, but the thing is you know, I'll take this money, you know, I'll take it, and, um, but it's, you know, some people, you probably get pissed off, I just throw my money out there, what it is, but some people get pissed off, why are you making so much money, what, I'll make, well, you know, you're not paying me the money, they're paying me the money, I'm not asking you for freaking tips, I'm not asking you to, I got, I got, uh, stupid ass PayPal someplace on my damn bit shoot, 
I never asked anybody for nothing in there, and I didn't even get a dollar, so I didn't give a shit. I don't care. I don't want to ask people for money. I don't want Patreon. I don't want any of that shit. I want them. To, I want. I want the big money crooks paying me the money. And if I criticize them, too bad. That's the way I look at it. You know. Hey, <laughs> you pay me the money. You know, you shouldn't give a crap if I criticize you or not. You should just give a crap that somebody watch my videos so they can see your ad. <laughs> That's all they should care about. But we know what's going on because this thing actually is all the internet. Not that it was planned from like a global conspiracy right from the dig get-go, but smart, shrewd people have noted that this is a great way to gather information on individuals. Now, Facebook right from the day one was um, KGB book that guarantee you that YouTube I don't think was at all until it got took over by Google Google was freaking crooked crooked crap from day one guarantee you that control to control freaks and uh, I don't know maybe, I, maybe I'll find a way I'm going to go talk I'll talk to the ADL I will I'll ask him you know what? I'll, 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 you know what? I'll go freaking. I'll go. I'll go. You know what? After I go freaking send this thing into YouTube, I ain't go, I'm not in a hurry to do it. It might be over the next four weeks or something. I might do it uh, to bill them. And, you know, and they'll say no. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ask the ADL. I'll talk to them. I'll talk to them nice, and I'll say, "Hey, ADL, you know, you you cost me money because you know somebody over there got their head up their ass." And they're telling me, they're saying that my videos are hateful because I got pro-Confederate. That's not true. That's not true. The Confederates fought against the Nazis. The Confederates are anti-fascist. You guys, I don't know where the hell you get, I don't know what that, you know, I, you know what it is? The flag was misused by some people. That's what it was. But the majority of people don't misuse the flag. So, you know, I look at this Confederate stuff as very important. I wouldn't care too much if, if it was like people weren't picking on them so much. But right now, they're the underdog. They got a righteous cause. And I'm, I'm taking up for it. I don't give a shit. I know it costs me money to do this shit, you know, because uh, people, the people, the ADL got after me. And, um, but I'll tell you one thing, Mr. ADLs. My precious kitty cat, Tiffany Goldigger, is watching you. She's watching you from up above. And you know what? She's gonna she's got it out for you asses, I'm telling you right now. The the uh the righteousness of kitty dumb is gonna come down in your head. And you're gonna find out. You're gonna find out what that means in very subtle ways. Because it's a jinx to mess with Synergy Seven. I'll tell you why it's a jinx. Because it's not only Miss Kitty I I swear to God. I know, I'm almost certain I got this link. You know, I didn't know this shit till about 20, a couple years ago when I saw this Lord Greg Hallett tell me about the, but I swear to God, considering the number, the way I, how I click with Jewish guys when I work with them and everything, it's, I can't work for a goy. I can't work for a goy. But, you know, the Jewish guys I weren't work, worked for, they weren't like these idiots that must be in the ADL, you know, they're more like Sam Zell types, they're not like Susan Wojcinski types, uh -huh. so, um, you know, we'll see, we'll see, but uh, I got patience, I mean, it's the YouTube money to me is not critical, but I want it, and actually I want it to increase, but now that I notice that it's totally, I know it's, now I know that I never trusted it from day one, to tell you the truth. But I got used to it. I got used to the freaking money coming in. It's nice and steady. And, um, you know, now I'm looking at mines. But I don't want anybody that's a subscriber to pay me any kind of money. I want it all coming out of the big guys. And if I criticize the big corporations, too bad. So I criticize you. You know, you shouldn't worry about that. You should worry about that there was a view and somebody watched your ad, okay? That's it. Over and out.